Hey, what's going on, everyone? And welcome to Disney Infinity Toy Box TV, the official weekly webcast. This is your go to destination for all the latest and greatest news from the world of Disney Infinity. And I'm John. And I'm Allison. And this week we have an awesome episode for you. So last week we actually celebrated the announcement of Disney Infinity Marvel Superheroes. And this week we're going to take you behind the scenes of that event and give you an inside look at the event. Yeah, absolutely. The team totally pulled out the stops for the announcement event. And you guys, Toy Box TV viewers, are going to have an opportunity to go behind the curtain and see all the cool magic that went into that awesome announcement event. Let's take a look. All right, guys, the big event is just about to start. Follow me in and let's check it out. The auditorium is filling up and people are getting ready for the big announcement. This is an amazing event space featuring the famous Cinerama screen. This is going to really make for an impressive presentation of everything that's being unveiled here today. We've got to back here for the show, but right now, let's go backstage and talk to some VIPs who made Disney Infinity happen. What's going on, guys? It's John and Allison here for Disney Infinity Toy Box TV. We've got two amazing special guests, Chief Creative Officer of Marvel, Mr. Joe Casada, and who could ever forget the incredible Brian Michael Bendis, who's also penning, he's a famous comic book writer, and he's also penning the entire script for Disney Infinity 2.0. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. So I think the question first on everyone's minds is, why are you so excited to bring Marvel to Disney Infinity? Well, you know, I mean, why not be excited? The, the, the game is amazing. Uh, it's been so incredibly well received, and I think uh, it's a perfect venue to, to bring Marvel to. We're going to do some incredible things. Uh, it, it looks great, and you know, we, we know it's coming because we, we we've seen all this stuff, and, and fans have no idea what they're in, in for yet. Which character are you most excited to play? Um, you know, of the characters that we've seen, because yeah. uh, you know, there, there, there are others that, that I know about. Uh, I'm most excited to play Captain America just because I, I love the shield action. Uh, I also love the sculpt. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, but I think Cap is, is, is my favorite right now. What about you, Brian? Do you have a favorite? I, I think Iron Man just fits in this world. You know, there's building and there's just world building, and that's kind of what Tony Stark does. And it just kind of feels like, a, like the perfect character for the game to me. So, Brian, I want to know, how is this different than any of the other projects you've worked on? Well, it, you know, th the, it's the similarity that I like. I, you know, I talked a little bit on stage about how, um, you know, Marvel always had some kind of interactive quality to it back in the 60s. Like, there was, like, you, when you read, like, the letter column, you felt like you were part of the, part of the show. And these games are kind of like the modern version of that. Like, the interactivity was always there. It was always... Marvel was, it was your universe, it wasn't just a universe that you were watching, it was like you were part of it. So this is just like, when I was a kid I couldn't even imagine having something like this, it would be the coolest thing in the world. And I've seen my kids play the first version and how they react to it so passionately and they're so little and they so get it, knowing that there's going to be kids that fall in love with these characters because of this game or in a different way or sparks their imagination like it did to us when we were growing up and when like we want to work at Marvel Comics when we grow up that's the coolest thing ever that literally could happen from an experience like this so to offer that be part of the team that offers that experience it's the best. No, it's been awesome having you guys, and um, thank you so much for being a huge part of our project and being here today and just taking a few minutes to talk to us and all the fans. I think they're going to love the game. I really, I, re well, I hope they love the game. Uh, please let us know if you do. If, if, if you don't, uh, call him. Yeah, <laughs> There's already a ton of excitement. You can reach me at, at Joe Posada on Twitter. That's where you can find <laughs> me. Yeah. All right. Here Bye, guys. All right, see you guys. Okay, guys, was that amazing or what? Look, the announce event was such a blast, and we hope you guys are as excited about Disney Infinity as we are. And remember, each week to check in with us here at Toy Box TV for exclusive looks at everything we're doing with the 2.0 edition of Disney Infinity Marvel Superheroes. We also want to hear from you. Are you excited for the next chapter of Disney Infinity? What are your thoughts? What features do you want to see? How about character requests? Who are you hoping to see? Yeah. I'm sure you've got some of them. So leave them in the comments or on the forums and let us know. All right, guys, it's time for the top five toy box countdown. You guys really impressed us with all the submissions for the Air Race Challenge. You took to the skies and dazzled us with all of your amazing creation skills. Yeah, those winners were very impressive indeed. Let's check out your handiwork. All right, let's start off the top five weekly countdown with Off the Wally, created by Luke E. Well, this is more like a space race than an air race, but we really love it. Explore the wasteland, find Wally's truck, and take to the sky over crazy obstacles to meet Wally's main crush, E. 
Next up, we have asteroid rates created by Crazy by Nick. It looks like space is a pretty compelling topic right now, as Crazy by Nick has brought us another cosmic creation that is sure to really get your pulse pounding. Star Command's remote base has been taken by Zerg. You'll need to race your way through their asteroids to the base and kick Zerg out. Do you have what it takes to rock this one out? We promise that you will have fun doing it. And coming in at number three, we have Dusty to the Rescue, created by Pirate Steven. Race to help our hero, Dusty Crophopper, rescue his friends. Put out the raging fires on the five floating aisles and join the ranks of the Jolly Wrenches. Start your engine and get ready to fly like you mean it. Getting closer to the top, we have Hire for Hire, created by Finn Warrior. Baloo is looking for a pilot. You and one of your friends are the only applicants, so get ready to take up a task. Whomever delivers five packages first gets the job. And in the highly coveted number one position for the best of the best for the week worldwide, we bring you flight training created by Vasuri83. Wow, another space-inspired flyer to help you blast your way through the week. This one is so much fun. Calling all space cadets, using your jetpacks past Zerg's traps in time, and become a true space ranger. You'll be put to a serious test, but you'll have a ton of fun doing it. Enjoy. Thanks again, guys, for all of your submissions. You continue to raise the bar each week. This is truly outstanding stuff you're creating. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Allison. So, guys, speaking of outstanding stuff to create, it's time for your next challenge. So, a few months ago, you guys dazzled us with some amazing creations based on Frozen. And we actually wanted to bring the challenge back. I mean, the excitement around Frozen seems to know no bounds. And so, just would make sense for us to do another challenge. So, Toy Box Artists, that's your challenge for this week. It's time for Frozen Challenge Part 2. Look, guys, have fun, let it go, and let's see what you can make. All right, guys, we hope you have a great time with this Frozen Challenge. Your submissions are due by May 14th at noon Pacific Standard Time, so be sure to get them in by then to have a chance at the top five. All right, guys, it's that time of the show again where we get another amazing trivia question for you, this time delivered by the wonderful Allison. Okay, I've got one. Who voices Princess Anna and Queen Elsa in the movie Frozen? I'll give you a hint. They're the same voices as in the game. And I'll give you another hint. One of them is not an actress by the name of Adele Dazim. So, guys, go ahead and write your response in the comments or post it on the forums. We can't wait to see the answers. Hey, Allison. Hey, JB. Guess what time it is? What time is it? It's time for the social media spotlight. That's right. And this week we have an awesome social media spotlight for you, including an interview with a couple YouTubers that we met up with. Hey guys, on Toybox TV, I'm here with Rob from Coinot TV, as well as the Asian guy gamer that you might recognize from the 8-Bit Theater. Uh, what did you think? Like, what was the highlight for you? Just the new characters, the, yeah. the Avengers. You know, I'm a big uh, Marvel. Uh, you know, I'll watch all the movies. So, Iron Man's my favorite Marvel character. So, very excited to see Marvel and also the toys up close and uh, get that as a collectible. How about you, Rob? Who are oh, you most man. excited to play? Well, Captain America Winter Soldier's best movie of 2014 so far, so definitely got to get in there and throw that shield around. Apparently you can level up the abilities and the characters. Um, I think you can level up the shield, so I'm just going to try and make my shield so powerful that I can, you know, take out Loki in one full swoop. All right, so let's do something fun. Um, can you guys do your best impression of a Marvel superhero? Here's, here's my Captain America. There you go. On your left. On your left. On your left. <laughs> All right. Thank you both for taking time to speak with us. Now let's hop on over to Instagram and check out this amazing Disney and Funny sketch by Rich. We love seeing your guys' drawings and we'd love to see more of these. Speaking of which, on Facebook, Shane C blew us away with his mashup sketch of Wreck It Ralph and the Hulk. Who do you think would win this face off? And before we go, we have this week's Toy Box tutorials from the guys at Avalanche Software who made Disney Infinity. These will help inspire you as you start jamming away on your next great Toy Box creation. Here's your second shot at fame, Disney Infinity Gamers, as we do round two of our Frozen Toy Box Challenge. I've been playing a lot of old school 2D side scrollers recently, and I thought that making one would be the perfect fit for our Frozen topic, so I present to you the North Mountain. There are five levels of increasing difficulty on the North Mountain, and you'll have to watch out for all sorts of tricky traps and fearsome falls on your way to the summit. There's crushers, falling boulders, swinging hammers, and some custom replayer terrain that blinks on and off the mountainside. Do you have what it takes to brave the cliffs and plant your flag at the top? This frozen toy box features, well, frozen trees and decorations, as well as the frozen flourish texture coin and the chill in the air sky dome coin. Be careful, tread lightly, and I'll see you at the top. I wanted to show you how to make a feedback loop. It's kind of tricky, but extremely useful if you want that extra bit of side-scrolling feel to your levels. First, you'll want to record placing some ledges and walls. Then, you'll want to bring in a repeater and a power switch. 
Tie the repeater to the power switch so that we'll send an input every set amount of time. Connect the power switch to the replayer, making it playback on every output and clear on every stopped. Now connect the replayer so that it turns the power switch off every time it plays back and makes it turn on every time it clears. And that's it! All you have to do afterwards is make some trigger turn the repeater on and have something else turn it off. Have fun using this in your own side-scrolling adventures and thanks for watching. Alright guys, so that's it for this week's episode of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV. Be sure to tune in next Thursday. We're going to have tons of new news from the world of Disney Infinity. Including some more Disney Infinity Marvel superheroes first look information. Yeah, and by the way, you guys, during this episode, we did some of the behind the scenes look at the announce event. And we just wanted to say on, on behalf of the entire Disney Infinity team, thanks for being such awesome fans. Yeah, seriously, you guys are an amazing community and we really couldn't do it without you. So thanks so much for just being you. Yeah, definitely. And a friendly reminder to all of you, get going on those frozen toy boxes. They're due by May 14th at noon Pacific Standard Time. All right, that's it. So we're wrapping the show, guys. Remember, if you can dream it, you can do it.